Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm back with an amazing tutorial for an adorable pouch. Sorry for being MIA for a while, life got in the way. But hey, I'm here now, and I'm super excited to see all my fabulous friends in the comments saying hi. For this pouch, I used a hand mixed yarn for the main part. This type of yarn looks like this. It's a blend of various colors and materials perfect for crocheting cute little pouches. I'll provide all the links to the materials I used in the description below. In this tutorial, I'm going to use t-shirt yarn to show you the main part because it's easier to see. I'll be sharing the free written pattern on my Ko-Fi page and you can find the link in the description. Now, let's jump right into it. Grab your main yarn and let's make a slip knot. Then, crochet a chain. The length of this chain will determine the bottom of your pouch, so crochet it to your desired length. I made 12 chains, which works for me. Throughout the pattern, I'll refer to it as 12 chains but feel free to adjust it to your own needs. Next, let's move on to the second round. We'll start crocheting single crochets from the second to last chain. Here's the last chain, and this one is the second to last. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. There you have it, the first single crochet of the second round. You can use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch and continue crocheting single crochet. Now I've completed 10 single crochet, and there's only one chain left to crochet. In the last chain, we'll make a three single crochet increase. That means we'll crochet three single crochet in the last chain. First, crochet one single crochet in this chain. Then, insert your hook into the same chain. At this point, bring the yarn tail between the working yarn and the hook, hiding the tail inside the pouch. Now you can continue and complete this single crochet. Next, we'll crochet the third single crochet in the same chain. As you can see, the yarn tail is now hidden inside. Moving on, let's start crocheting single crochet on the other side of the chain. You'll notice several X shapes formed by the crossed yarn. We need to crochet single crochet at the bottom of these X shapes. Insert your hook into the bottom of the X. And crochet single crochet as usual. There should be one single crochet on each side of every chain space. Continue crocheting single crochet along the chain a total of nine single crochet. After completing the nine regular single crochet, we'll make an increase in the last chain, which means crocheting two single crochet in that chain. Finally, we'll join this round with a slip stitch. 
Insert your hook into the first marked stitch, pull up a loop, and pull it through the loop on your hook. And there you have it. The second round is complete. Now we have the bottom part of our pouch. You can take out the items you want to put inside to check if the size is sufficient. Next, let's crochet the body of the pouch. Start with a chain of two to match the height of a double crochet. Then, crochet double crochet, starting from the first marked stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. After completing the double crochet, use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch. Continue crocheting double crochet until you finish the entire round. I've completed the whole round now. Here's a tip to determine if you've crocheted the last stitch. Counting back from the first marked stitch, you should skip the last three stitches because they include the slip stitch from the previous round and the two initial chains for the current round. These three stitches don't count in the total stitch count, so the fourth to last stitch is the one you need to crochet. After that, join the round with a slip stitch. And that completes the third round. Now, let's take care of the yarn tail we hid earlier. Trim off the excess. Next, we just need to repeat the pattern of the third round until the body of the pouch reaches your desired height. Chain two to match the height. Start crocheting double crochet from the first marked stitch. Mark the first stitch. and continue crocheting double crochet around. Finally, join with a slip stitch. Now, you can pause the video and repeat this pattern to complete the body of your pouch. If you're enjoying my tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more crochet projects and tutorials. I've completed two more rounds, and now let's see if it's tall enough. Hmm, it looks good. It's already tall enough. Now, we'll move on to crocheting the cover. First, remove the stitch marker and crochet a slip stitch into the first marked stitch. Then chain two to reach the desired height. In the same stitch, crochet a double crochet. And mark it as the first stitch. Continue crocheting one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the desired length for the cover. When you're close to the desired position, it's important not to crochet the entire length of the back. 
leaving some space on both sides will ensure a neater fold when the cover is folded. Next, flip your work in chain two. Crochet nine, double crochet back along the row until you reach the first marked stitch. You can now pause the video and repeat this pattern back and forth until the cover reaches the desired length. After crocheting three rows, my cover is almost the desired length. At this point, we can fasten off and secure the remaining yarn tail. I like to use a smaller crochet hook for this step, but you can use your preferred method. Once the yarn tail is secured, we can start crocheting the edging for the cover. Grab the yarn you'll use for the edging. I'm using 5 ply cotton yarn and a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. Find the spot where the cover and body are connected and start crocheting the edging from that edge. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then chain one to secure the yarn. Next, chain one again, and in the same stitch, work a shell of five double crochets. This means you'll crochet five double crochet in the same stitch, excluding the initial chain. One. two, three, four, five. Continue working a shell of five double crochet in each stitch along the side. After finishing the side, we reach the top. The stitches at the top are more distinct, so continue working a shell of five double crochet in each stitch until you've completed the edging along the entire edge of the cover. Now, I've completed the edging for the entire cover. 
We can finish with a slip stitch and then fasten off. Hide the yarn tail inside the cover. Once the yarn tail is hidden, let's crochet the loop to close the pouch. If you have any other ideas, feel free to adjust the closing method according to your preference. We need to crochet a long chain for the loop. Leave approximately 15 centimeters of yarn at the beginning for later sewing. Next, we'll sew the chain and the button onto the cover. Take out the button. I must say, I really love the cat paw button I found this time. It's so adorable. Choose the button you like and find a suitable position. I'm placing the button in the middle of the edge. Use the crochet hook to go from the outside into the hole and pull out the chain. Leaving the chain inside the cover. Now, we'll use the two yarn tails to sew the button onto the cover. The button's hole is a bit small. So let me use a tool to help with this step. Sew the other yarn tail in the same way. Both yarn tails are now attached to the button. Next, pull the yarn tails through the small hole on the side. Adjust them and tie a knot to secure the yarn tails. This fixes the button in place. Wow, our pouch is complete. You can use it to store small cosmetics, coins, cards, or adjust the size to make it a crochet hook case, pencil pouch, and more. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. If you had a blast following along with my tutorial, I hope you did. I'd be over the moon if you could show some love by hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel, and sharing this video with your crochet buddies. Oh, and guess what? 
I've got even more delightful diagrams and tutorials waiting for you on my Ko-fi page. Your incredible support and cheer keep me fired up to create more content. Can't wait to catch you in the next tutorial, my crochet-loving friend.